This year for CS 2020, we've conducted a consumer survey on personalization. We asked 3,000 people across the world how important was personalization to them and if they were willing to trade their personal data to achieve it. Let's try something a little bit different today and ask the people here at the CES if they could comment and guess what the results were. Let's find out. Wow. Wow. Okay, a lot. <laughs> All right, let's go. Which industry respondents are most excited to see increased personalization in? I would say mobility. I personally feel it could be healthcare. Healthcare? Well, home, home and city, I think. I'm going to say healthcare. I'm going to go with home and city. If you're talking healthcare, you're talking about your own self or somebody you love and care about. So you want something that's very exact. People's health, I think, is most important to them than anything else. Uh, it's not about treating the sick, it's about preventing you to get sick. What percentage of people will be willing to trade all of their data for personalized clothing and footwear? So I would think like 5%. My guess on what would be accurate would be 19%. <laughs> I'm going to go with the 19%. I think a lot of people would be willing to do this. I would go for 56%. 56%. 5%. 19. 19, OK. I, I thought it would be low. Yeah, it's a pretty broad topic. And uh, are people saying they want personalization in terms of the services that they provide that are more personal to them? Or are they talking about the control of their data? You know, security is a big deal nowadays. And, and, and protecting your personal information is part of guarding your security. So. I think that's important. What is the number one technology required for personalized services according to respondents? AI. AI, I would say. Home assistants. AI. Right now, I see the trend going as AI. And there it is. Everything with personalization is going to require a lot of data. And AI is the way you move big data around. How much more would people be willing to pay for more customized product or service? I would say 25%. 25% more. 50% or more? I said 25% more. 25%. 25%. This is just me personally. I would pay 100% more. Oh, hey, there we go. Expect if it's going to be personalized to me, then obviously there's going to be a premium to be paid. And 25% is about what I feel like I can afford. So. What percentage of people believe that 5G is going to be necessary for increased personalization? Yeah, maybe 30%. 41%? 51%. Maybe 21%. Oh, that's, that's 41%. 41%. I generally understand the differences between 4G, 5G, and all of that, but I, I would bet most people do not. So I think it's just like a understanding. People are going to want their data faster, quicker, and more personalized to them. You're always looking forward to something better, something, something good, something always. You, you want to be unlimited. Well, I hope it was fun. Want to learn more about the survey? Check out the results in the link above.